Hello and welcome to an Envato Test Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Burdila, and in today's video, you'll learn how to fix the uh, HTTP error when uploading images to WordPress. This is a pretty common error, and there are several ways to fix it. So, in this video, I'll go through each one and explain what to do. Let's get started. An HTTP error can be caused by, by many different things, and uh, this is a generic error meaning that WordPress doesn't know the exact cause. Now, sometimes the simplest solution to this could be to just try again later, so try uploading that image again a bit later. Uh, one of the causes for this error is low server resources. So if you're trying again later and it works, then uh, you've probably found the problem. Um, if that doesn't work, you can also try switching the browser. Sometimes that uh, that works as well and you get rid of that error. If that doesn't work either, then you need to try something else. Now, if this error occurs um, after you installed a certain WordPress plugin or a certain WordPress theme, then that's probably the cause of it. Uh, usually image optimization plugins are known to cause an HTTP error. So that's a, a really good place to start. Deactivate any plugins that you suspect might be, uh, might be causing this or themes because themes usually come bundled with plugins that are activated. Uh, so disable those, try again. And if the problem still persists, then uh, let's move on to the next step. Sometimes the error uh, might be caused by an image that's either too large in size or too large in dimension in the number of pixels. So um, try and reduce the file size by optimizing it or uh, try exporting that image at a different resolution and try again. Also, um, pay close attention to the name of the file, of the image file. Uh, sometimes file names can contain certain characters that don't really sit well with the WordPress uh, uploader. So um, you might want to try and uh, rename that image and see if it works. If it doesn't, then we need to uh, take a closer look at some more complex solutions. Now, one of the most common causes for this error is insufficient server memory. So uh, the one thing that you have to do very simply is to increase the amount of memory that PHP can use on your server. Now, to do that, you need to open up the wp-config.php file. Now, to open that file, you will need to navigate to your uh, root WordPress installation. Uh, in my case, because I'm working locally, it's under my htdocs, but on your server, it's, uh, it's really much easier to find. Simply navigate to your WordPress uh, root installation. And here you'll find wp-config.php. So you can uh, open that with your favorite code editor. And all you have to do is just go all the way down. And you would write this. Define WP memory limit 256 megabytes. Save. And that's it. And this piece of code will basically increase the WordPress memory limit to 256 megabytes, which in most cases should be more than enough to fix any uh, issues with uh, the memory limit. Now, you should know that this method doesn't always work because it will be overwritten by a server rule or a server level rule set in place by your WordPress host. In this case, you could open the HT access file or php.ini file and change the memory limit from there. But you should only uh, make changes to these files to these files if you know uh, what you're doing. Otherwise, if you think this uh, won't solve your problem, get in touch with your server host and explain the problem. Explain that you want to make changes to HT access or php.ini and see if they have uh, any solution for you. 
By default, WordPress ships with two image editors, Imagic and GD Library. And WordPress will use either one of these interchangeably. The problem is, Imagic is known to have memory issues and is more prone to throw out these uh, HTTP errors. So the solution here is very simple. We need to force WordPress to use the other one, GD library. That's really easy to do simply by adding a piece of code to our functions.php file. So functions.php file, to find it, uh, you would need to navigate to your uh, theme folder, which in my case, it's under WP content, themes, and you would find the currently active theme, in my case, 2020, and then functions.php. Alternatively, you can also um, go to your WordPress backend, appearance, theme editor, and from the right-hand sidebar, you would select functions.php. And then at the very end, while making sure that you're still uh, within uh, PHP tags, you would do the following. Function, you would give it a name. Ideally, you want to give it a name that doesn't conflict with other functions that might be uh, present in WordPress. You would pass in editors as a parameter. And then you would specify which editor you want to use. And then you would add a filter to WP image editors and you would pass in that function name. And so whenever WordPress loads the image editors, it also loads this function, which specifies that we want it to use GD library. And then hit update file, make sure to refresh it to see if everything is working properly. And then that error should, uh, should disappear. And this can also be done using the htaccess or the .htaccess file method. But this is probably the most uh, accessible to, uh, to everyone. Sometimes this error can be caused by using an incompatible version of PHP on your server. So if we look at the uh, requirements on wordpress.org, you'll see that the current version of WordPress requires PHP version 7.4 or greater. So if you're using a much lower version of PHP, that can be the cause of the uh, HTTP error you're getting. Now to upgrade your version of PHP, uh, I recommend you get in touch with your um, web host because it really depends from host to host how they have this managed. In my case, I'm using SiteGround for hosting and I can simply go to Devs, PHP Manager, and I can see that my current version of uh, PHP is 7.3.18 and um, SiteGround here does actually a really good job of, uh, of updating uh, the PHP. This is the last stable version that uh, they've tested. And in my case, my PHP version is updated automatically. So as soon as um, another stable version is available and they've tested it, they'll update automatically. But that might not be the case for you. In some cases, you will need to update manually or what I always recommend you do is that you get in touch with your web host and tell them that you have this problem and that one solution would be to update uh, the version of PHP. And if all of these steps fail, then uh, it might be a good idea to get in touch with your web host, explain the problem. Uh, it's possible they've encountered it before and they know what to do to help you. Um, and if your web host has great support, then you'll have no problem uh, getting this fixed whatsoever. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And if you've ever encountered this problem yourself, let us know down in the comments how you fixed it. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Adi Purdillo, and until next time, take care.